Hey Josh, can you tell me something about your debate experience so far? At the Youth Forum? Yeah, and in Global. Hmm. At the Youth Forum I like, it's, it's the first really international competition that I've been at for this age group. And I think it's really interesting to see the way that this age kid interacts with people from different countries. Right? I think that they bond a lot quicker than maybe at the World University Debating Championships where it's all adults and they seem to, they already form their cliques and they don't really interact with each other. So it's cool to see these kids kind of really come together from people totally on the other side of the world that they'll probably never meet again. But, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully they can keep up with each other. Is it your first time to see a Karl Popper debate and what do you think of the format Karl Popper? Yeah, it's the first time I've done a tournament. I've, I've heard the format before and maybe seen a round or two, but it's the first time to watch it. And I think it, it has some benefits to it educationally. Um, and which, which I think is the focus of it. They're trying to, you know, use it again just because the age is for these these competitors is younger. They're really trying to stress the education of it. So I think there's some things allowing the uses of coaches, the prep time in between the debate, having the prepared motions, the length of the prep time uh, before the round. I think these things are good ways to help the kids actually get something out of it as opposed to just purely competition. So. Uh, what does it mean to be a British parliamentary track leader here at the Youth Forum? Um, it means that I get to yell at all 48 kids in the British parliamentary track. Um, also, I think that, well, uh, Karl Popper isn't done in, at the university level, so a lot of the kids who are in high school or secondary school now that are going to be going to universities, most of them are probably going to compete in British parliamentary. So helping the kids kind of make the transition be from something like Karl Popper or World Schools, some of them do World Schools format, and make the transition into British Parliamentary, hopefully kind of equips them to get ready to compete, you know, in the next stage of the education. How is debate perceived in the USA? I think that it's mainly something to put on your resume. So you debate because you want to get into a school or you want to get a job and you just want to win things because you, you know, you want to be able to put that down and it makes yourself look good which is too bad. I don't think there's a whole lot of people that do debate because they want to better themselves or they really want to explore the ideas, obviously some, but I think in large part the activity is structured in a way that gives people uh, just you know titles and awards and trophies that they can put down if they're applying to colleges or, or careers afterwards. What about the skills you get from debate? Mm -hmm. BP format I think might give you skills that translate in the rest of society, which is why I like that one. Maybe more so than some of the other formats, in my opinion. Um, each, each format obviously has its strengths and weaknesses, but I think just in terms of being able to interact with other human beings or be able to communicate in a way that would be applicable to other aspects of life or other aspects of um, you know, the workplace besides just debate, I think BP is probably you know, uh, my favorite for that. What were your expectations before you came to the forum? So I've been, I've been really pleasantly surprised by the students. They're, um, they're, it's pretty impressive, A, the amount of knowledge they showed up with, and then B, how quickly they were able to pick up on the things that they were taught. So, and, and for the most part, a lot of them are really eager to get as much as they can out of it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.